Well, it's a very peculiar setup that we've got, in, not only in the atmosphere, but with the seas at the moment over the next 24 hours, Jane. So obviously there's been a lot of flooding due to the excessive amount of rain we've seen over the last few weeks. But what's going to happen tomorrow mm. is that we're going to have 60, 70 mile an hour winds pushing in from the southwest, a very high spring tide and a lot of water coming down through the river system. So it's a sort of triple whammy of conditions which are going to threaten coastal areas. The Environment Agency working very closely with the Met Office to ascertain that risk and communicate it, but certainly it's the more southern and western coast. Not so much from uh, the amount of rain we're going to see over the next 24 hours, more the wind and the tides. Yeah, so it really is that, that combination yeah. coming together. Uh, that's tomorrow, Friday. There's talk as well, though, of things being pretty tough for some people later in the weekend as well. That's right. Again, something of a breather for some of us on Saturday, but Sunday, yet another one of these dart boards that we've become used to over the last uh, several weeks, an explosively deepening low. These fronts very active, so, you know, widely 10 to 20 millimetres in some places, more than double that. The ground can't take any more. That's bound to cause further flooding and, again, very strong winds as well. It may be that that's the last one, at least for a while. Mm. So things could be settling down a little bit next week, but that's a long way off.